Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pillow, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia, starting out on this Tuesday morning with a scripture reading from Romans chapter 11, verse 13 through 24. Now I'm speaking to you Gentiles, and as much then as I am an apostle to the Gentiles, I glorify my ministry in order to make my own people jealous, and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? If the part of the dough offered as first fruits is holy, then the whole batch is holy. And if the root is holy, then the branches also are holy. But if some of the branches were broken off, and you, a wild olive shoot, were grafted in their place to share the rich root of the olive tree, do not boast over the branches. If you do boast, remember that it is not you that support the root, but the root that supports you. You will say, branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. That is true. They were broken off because of their unbelief, but you stand only through faith. So do not become proud, but stand in awe. For if God did not spare the natural branches, perhaps he will not spare you. Note then the kindness and the severity of God, severity toward those who have fallen, but God's kindness toward you. Provided you continue in his kindness, otherwise you also will be cut off. And even those of Israel, if they do not persist in unbelief, will be grafted in. For God has the power to graft them in again. For if you have been cut from what is by nature a wild olive tree and grafted, contrary to nature, into a cultivated olive tree, how much more will these natural branches be grafted back into their own olive tree? And that is our reading today from Romans. If you will, please join me in a time together in prayer. Let us pray together. Dear Lord, you have brought us to the beginning of a new day. As the world is renewed, fresh and clean, so we ask you to renew our hearts with your strength and purpose. Forgive us the errors of yesterday and bless us to walk closer in your ways today. This is the day we begin our life anew. Shine through us so that every person we meet may feel your presence in us. Take our hand, precious Lord, for we cannot make it by ourselves. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow morning as well. Hope you all have a wonderful Tuesday today.